Would I be the arsehole for asking a boy's family for an item that he borrowed from me before he died? So I'm 14M, and almost three weeks ago I let a boy in one of my classes at school borrow my sweater. He said he'd give it back to me after his mom did laundry, but unfortunately a few days after this happened he was killed in a bad car accident. Obviously I knew it wasn't okay to say anything before his funeral, but now that it's been a couple of weeks I'm wondering if it would be okay to go to his family and ask them for my sweater. The main reason that I'm not sure if it's okay to ask is because I've never met his family at all and I don't think they even know who I am, I knew this boy from being in school together but we weren't friends or anything. I did ask my older sister for advice but she said that if it were her, she just wouldn't ask because she would be worried about upsetting the boy's family. And I do agree that if it was just any random piece of clothing I wouldn't bother asking at all, but this is a sweater that I got on an important trip and it has the name of the place where I stayed so I do care about getting it back. I only let him borrow it because it was an emergency. So would I be the asshole? Nah, but you have to ask in the right way. I'm UX from school, and was upset to learn what happened. I loaned him a sweater a while ago, and when you get around to going through his things, I'd like to get it back. It holds memories for me. I'm not in a hurry, and understand if you're not ready to do that yet. It looks like why. While it's terrible timing to ask for this from a grieving family, I wanna give you kudos and say good job for asking first. Not enough adults stop to ask and think about how their actions may affect people that are hurting. The fact that you did just that, means you're considerate and kind enough to lend out a sweater and ask for guidance before making a bigger deal about asking for it back under the circumstances. Good luck OP and keep asking about social guidance and help. I don't think you'd be the R necessarily, but this does require a lot of tact and timing. Are you friends with any of this boy's close friends? I think enlisting the help of someone who knew him and thus, his parents better, you could do this tactfully. Into if you asked in a polite and respectful way. Perhaps sending a note card with an expression of sympathy and a polite request with your address. Why are so many people saying OP would be an asshole? As long as you go about it the right way I don't see an issue. If my mom had borrowed anything before she died, I would have been more than happy to return it. I have heard so many heartwarming stories from people who knew her. You might be able to do the same for his family. Not the asshole, there must be a tremendous amount of admin involved and I think it's nice to be able to put things back where they belong. I wouldn't mind being reminded that my kid had friends. Not the asshole good sweatshirts are hard to come by you can still get it back without being an R. Just tell the parents that the sweatshirt now has enormous sentimental value since he liked it so much. Good please can I have it back as something else to remember him by. Bad I call backsies on the sweatshirt your thief son R.I.P. stole. Nta. But do it nice and respectfully. Like giving them your condolence, and tell them that you were a classmate of their son. And that you don't want to bother them, but you want to ask, if you can have your sweater back because it has lots of memories. Maybe now also of your late classmate. Your empathy and consideration in this difficult situation are commendable. The folks suggesting that you could help by telling the parents a little about your friendship with their son are spot on. I would say though that the contact with the parents is not your responsibility. Have your parents reach out to his. They can tell them about the sweater, and offer for you to meet with them. But reaching out to the parents is not something that should be your responsibility. Not the asshole in fact, your classmate's family may enjoy hearing a story about him. Don't talk to the family. Talk to your parents first. Ask them if they can replace the sweater. And if they can't, ask your parent to speak to theirs. As long as you make sure to be very respectful and put an effort into not only let it be about the sweater, but make sure to express your condolences and maybe tell a few anecdotes from your classes together, before asking for the sweater, I'll go with you to maybe express why the sweater is important to you. Not the asshole. 
I'd ask your parent's adult family member for help. A parent adult contacting a parent may be better, and or your parents might have a good idea how to approach the situation. If you decide to ask yourself, having them there may be helpful. Not the asshole take a small gift basket or box with chocolates or muffins for example. Give your sympathy. Share any memories you have because parents don't want their children forgotten then very gently explain the situation. I think this will be just fine. Take a parent with you for support if you can. Not the asshole by the fact that you've asked advice about this instead of just barging into their house I feel like you can ask them respectfully. I've seen some comments about talking to the family for a bit if you feel like that would comfort them. If you are comfortable with it I definitely recommend that. Maybe you feel like you don't have good stories, but trust me every nice story about their son will help them in their grief. I don't think it's an R move to request it back but might end up having an R impact though, since it's going to be determined by how the request is received. I think the way you frame it is important. Something like condolences message, that you don't want to burden them but you gave him a precious sweater and you would appreciate it back as a keepsake I'm not sure highlighting your previous sentimental reasons would go over great. I'd personally I'd write it off as a loss. I see a few people kind of referencing this, but I want to say it clearly I think a note letter might be the best medium for this. You can have an adult look it over before you send it and you might need an adult's help getting the address. That will be a good way to include a nice story about their son and they don't have to process it right in front of you. Good on you for being kind and considerate to this sensitive situation. Not the asshole. Natar. You're in a spot, but I am generally inclined to agree with your sister about letting it go, but I'm old, too. I also understand you're valuing that sweater it because it is emblematic of a trip that was really important to you. It is certainly a raw, hard time for this boy's family. If you choose to request the return of your sweater should be done with a lot of tact and diplomacy because for them, with their son's death, they've lost everything. Do you have a teacher who might be able to help you with this? Nah. Nah I wouldn't go so far to as to call you an asshole but personally I just wouldn't ask. Having lost family in an unexpected car accidentally I can tell you they're going through a lot and having to deal with a borrowed sweater could be asking more of them than you think. Ask. Accept whatever answer you get. Not the asshole but I think you should just order another sweater online. What if he was wearing it when he died? Now for wanting your sweater back especially if it has an important meaning but that family is grieving and this might upset them of course. You are 14 and this means a lot to you now, but if this leads to an unpleasant situation, and trust me the here, memory of the sweater will be tainted forever. Nah. Your sister isn't wrong about her opinion but you wouldn't be wrong to ask. Just pay attention to how you ask and when. Two weeks is not enough time.